The Tata Group's flagship steel maker Tata Steel last week approved the merger of six subsidiaries and an associate company with itself in a major move that consolidates the group's metals and mining business. The move involves listed entities Tata Steel Long Products, the tin plate company of India, Tata Metallics, and TRF. The proposed amalgamation is aimed at driving synergies through raw material security, centralized procurement, optimization of inventories, reduced logistic costs, and better facility utilization. The consolidation is in continuation with Tata Steel's drive to simplify the group holding structure. Since 2019, it has reduced 116 associated entities. Under the chairmanship of N. Chandrasekharan, the salt to software conglomerate has been consolidating businesses that share common synergies. Earlier this year, the group announced the merger of Tata Consumer Products and Tata Coffee. Tata Consumer itself was a result of the 2019 merger of the consumer products business of Tata Chemicals with Tata Global Beverages. A financial daily on Tuesday reported that the group and Singapore Airlines are working on merging their airline businesses Air India and Vistara and housing them under a new joint venture. Meanwhile, Tata-owned AirAsia India is in the process of being merged with Air India Express, an Air India subsidiary that operates flights mainly on the India Gulf routes. By 2025, Tata's aviation business will be reportedly brought under Air India. Tata Sons, the group holding company, had consolidated its various businesses across aerospace and defense sectors together under a single entity, Tata Aerospace and Defense. Mergers and demergers are part of the long-term growth plan and a value creation proposition. During growth phase, there is a necessity to create independent verticals to support the high growth opportunities. This also helps in building and creating new leadership teams, again with a hope to build value for shareholders overall. Similarly, in the maturity stage, it makes sense to bring in synergies and cost efficiencies to remain competitive and ahead of the market. The merger announcement of the metal companies in the Tata Group with Tata Steel is an example of this, and I believe this would be value accretive for the shareholders. On the other side, they continue to identify and nurture innovative ideas to build emerging businesses, which I believe in the longer run, the successful ones will eventually become large independent entities or get merged with other group companies. According to Financial Daily, Tata Sons has commenced plans to halve the number of listed companies in the conglomerate to an estimated 15 from 29 in the coming months. This is being done to focus on investing in bigger entities that can compete in the marketplace. The news report quoted the conglomerate's executives as saying that it is speeding up the simplification to focus better on the growth and scale of the large companies. Chandrasekharan, who is serving his second term as Tata Sons chairman, restructured the group into 10 verticals such as infrastructure, financial services, automotive, and technology and e-commerce. The group had committed over $10 billion to deleverage and restructure Tata companies, consolidate cross-holdings, acquire strategic assets, and infuse capital for future growth. Chandrasekharan is driving his 3S philosophy of simplify, synergize, and scale to take the group to new heights. Simplification includes consolidating entities sharing the same sector into a single vertical and reducing subsidiary or exiting non-core businesses to bring focus and agility. An example of synergy would be Tata Motors leading the effort to develop an EV ecosystem in partnership with Tata Capital for financing and Tata Power for the charging infrastructure network. The group now is largely focusing on home markets as its strategy of going global has not yielded much returns. It's a very well thought out strategy which had been conceptualized a few years ago and is now being put on a fast track of implementation. The cross-functional advantage of competent people who were working in different silos in different companies will now be available to the entire Tata Steel uh, company. Uh, my personal belief is that this will be highly accretive and lead to enhancement of the value of Tata Steel. From 100 plus companies, if you're down to 40, 50, and of which maybe uh, 10 or 12 are listed, then you will have a massive value creation. Signals for good capital allocation arise from multiple sources. Now, all these signals can become much stronger and far clearer if you have a clean, segment-wise, consolidated results to look at. And I must say that the capital allocation strategies that Mr. Chandra has uh, put in place have been remarkable. They have uh, it's taken tremendously bold decisions. It's cut off a lot of the very poorly performing global enterprises. There was no 
sentiment around it, what needed to go just went uh, and good deal of consolidation happened. And now I think he's taking this a step forward, creating the right synergistic uh, capital allocation template. Tata's latest ambitious goal is to harness its presence across multiple sectors into a unified offering for consumers through its super app, Tata New. It will be interesting to see how the consolidation exercise aids in this goal. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.